Good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Lokman Saim. I'm an ear, nose, and throat surgeon, and my subspecialty is in otology and neuroautology, which is a field that uh, treat diseases of the ear and also uh, hearing problems, both in children and also in adults. Well, humans are born or created with two ears, the right ear and the left ear. Sound comes from multi-direction. And having two ears, we have maximum capacity to hear these multi-directional sounds. And therefore, two ear is always better than one ear, which we call bioral hearing. There are certain disadvantages of having only one ear. One is direction of sound will be more difficult to be determined with mono-oral hearing. And number two, in a noisy environment, someone who has mono-oral hearing will have more difficulty in understanding speech compared to someone with bi-oral or both ears having a good hearing. Two ears hearings allow us to easily identify where the sound is coming from. Our ears are designed to pick up the sound wave from our surrounding environment. If you ever had hearing loss in one ear, you know that it can be challenging to interpret the noise or understand where it came from without the aid of the second ear. People with hearing aid also may notice a difference if they are only wearing one device. For example, when you walk on a street, you will know where the car from behind is located just with your hearing. Therefore, two-year hearing helps us to detect danger quickly and efficiently. The sound from two-year hearing will also be more natural and pleasant. Two-year hearing helps us to amplify sound. Two working ears means that the brain receives double the amount of sensory input. Sounds are louder and easier to detect when you can hear them with both ears instead of one. This is known as binaural loudness summation. Besides that, binaural hearing allows us to be more sensitive to small differences in the quality of sound, such as the pitch and volume. This means better discrimination and recognition of important sound events, especially in noisy environment. Imagine your mom talking to you when the vacuum cleaner is on at the same time. Two-year hearing helps you to hear her more accurately. A cochlear implant is a device that makes someone who is severely or profoundly deaf hear again. When someone has severe to profound hearing loss, the main structure in the cochlea that is damaged is the cochlear hair cells. However, the cochlear nerve is still present. A cochlear implant is a device that directly stimulates the cochlear nerve and sounds can be sent to the brain for us to hear. So the cochlear implant has two parts. One part is a device which is implanted surgically into the inner ear so that the electrodes will directly stimulate the cochlear nerve. The patient will also wear an external device and this contains one, the microphone, which receives sound from surroundings and this is sent to a speech processor so that this electric stimulus can be sent into the implant in the inner ear. So through these two devices, sound can be sent into the inner ear to make the patient hear again. A person who has severe to profound hearing loss will have his hearing restored with cochlear implant. And depending on either they have a one implant in one ear or two implants which is in both ears, then they can have mono-oral hearing if it's implanted in one ear. But if it's implanted in both ears, then the patient will have bioral hearing. And I've mentioned earlier that bioral hearing is always preferred because you know naturally human needs two ears to have maximum hearing.
Bilateral cochlear implants provide unique benefits that make it easier for you to hear your surrounding compared to normal hearing aids. Hearing with two ears provides a more balanced and focused representation of sound. With two cochlear implants, you can take advantage of the natural way that your brain interprets sound and their location, making it easier to find and hear what you want to hear. The sound processors are able to share sound signal with each other. For a deaf child to develop speech more naturally, bilateral cochlear implants deliver surround sound to the child's brain during critical periods for speech and language development. The surgery for cochlear implantation in the left and right ear can be done simultaneously or it can be done sequentially, which is doing one ear first and then the second ear is done much later, either months or years. It's a choice that has to be discussed between the patient or recipient or the child and the parents and the doctors to decide whether the implantation should be done simultaneously or sequentially. Well, there are advantages of doing implantation at one time. One is the child or the patient or recipient only have one surgery. Number two is the earlier the implantation actually is better. So if we have two years that I have hearing loss and we did the implantation at one time, then both ears will have stimulation and hearing early. The earlier the implantation is done is better. And later. With the advancement of technology, you can still hear with both ears even if one ear has lost its sense of hearing while the other uses a cochlear implant. With a cross hearing aid, sound is sent from the other ear to the cochlear implant so that you can enjoy hearing without having to reposition yourself. Our cross hearing aid also has two microphones on each ear to help you focus on the person in front of you, even in a noisy situation. Rest assured, if one ear receives a cochlear implant while the other ear benefits from the hearing aid, you are not required to do a cochlear implant for the other ears. Our cochlear implant and hearing aid can communicate with each other to help users to hear with ease and comfort throughout the day to stimulate the two-year hearing. This breakthrough technology allows the user to hear clearer sounds simultaneously in both ears. I would like to advise individuals who have hearing loss to have their hearing tested as early as possible. There are devices that can test and determine hearing loss as early as newborns. This is again because even at that stage, we should start rehabilitation. As one knows, hearing is very important and without hearing, there will be impairment of communication which is very detrimental, especially for children. Rehabilitation is very important in people and individuals with hearing loss because it can make someone hear better. And the mainstay of treatment of hearing loss is still hearing aid. Nevertheless, for those who have severe to profound hearing loss where hearing aid cannot help much, then the alternative is cochlear implant. This device really can make someone who is totally deaf here again. It has been in use for many years, it is safe and the surgery has not much complication. So my advice is get the best form of treatment, use the best form of device which is hearing aid and cochlear implant for those with hearing impairment. I agree with Professor Lockman the earlier the hearing interventions happens, the better the outcome. You should take immediate action to contact us when you suspect any hearing loss of your loved one. Elderly people with hearing loss have a greater chance to developing dementia. Hearing loss in children can result in speech and language delay. Every aspect of our solution has been optimized for clarity, comfort and also reliability. 
This is also to allowing our recipient to hear at their best. Regaining hearing not only boosts their confidence to socialize, but also give people the opportunity to live normal, fruitful life. Different solutions are provided to address the individual with hearing loss as each person with hearing loss is actually unique. Therefore, seeking advice from our professional team is very important. Your surgeon and also your audiologist will also advise the optimum management that is exclusively tailored for you.